Oh, okay, it's recording. Hi, everyone. So, ooh, this feels good. Today I'm re recording a story time. Wait, do I like this camera orientation? I don't know. Okay. I don't know why I look so dead. <laughs> but today I'm going to be filming a get ready with me. It's going to so dry. And a story time. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I set my makeup out and then I'm going to moisturize with my sunscreen and then straighten my eyelashes because they're really curly. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now that my face is all sunscreened and lashes are straight, um, you can see the difference. There's literally a glow in my skin. I believe sunscreen is one of the most important skincare routines you can develop. Um, I started putting on sunscreen, I think in like freshman year, maybe eighth grade, I don't know. But it really helps my skin stay clear. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> it just helps my skin stay clear. But I'm going to tell you guys this story. I'm going to use this Benefit Too Faced travel size little thing is it gonna okay whatever um but this story is going to be about this drunk driver who tried to get away with the hit and run basically it's gonna be a short story but i'm gonna try and drag it out <laughs> so this happened a few months ago there aren't really any characters involved but i will give those characters names so the person's car we're gonna call them snickers and then the person who hit our car we're gonna call them sour patch kids i don't know um, so this is what had happened. I don't have my spoolie or anything, so I'm going to use this makeup brush to blend it out because I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. brow gel and then this Benefit 24 hour setting thing. So a few months ago, um, maybe like three, four months ago, I don't know. I was outside in Snickers truck and we were chilling or whatever and we decided oh let's get in late let's go inside so go, in, oh, go inside of Snickers car and then wait I can't tell stories we get we leave to go inside from Snickers car and we're just chilling um, I think it was like ooh, 11 or 12 at night and we just hear a loud like crash banging noise. Um, we live by a park so usually at the park people do donuts and stuff and like to be really loud at the park with their cars. So I was thinking, oh snap, someone, is someone okay at the park? Like, did they crash into a pole doing donuts? Like, what's going on? And it sounded like it came from the park area. So I don't know what was going on. I was confused. I look over there and I don't see any like headlights leaving the park or anything. I'm going to go in with my mascara. It's the Better Than Sex mascara by Too Faced. Too, too Faced. Just to add, make these little, oh, not too bad. Just to make my eyebrows darker. I already messed up, it's okay though. But, I'm gonna do this happen every time I do this eyebrow. I don't see any lights leaving the parking lot or anything. And I'm confused on where that loud crash came from. So about 
let's see, 10 minutes. Oh my God, I got this eyebrow. <laughs> Already butchered my eyebrows, <laughs> but that's okay. There's Facetune and Photoshop or whatever. So yeah, there's nobody at the playground and I'm confused. Uh, about maybe like two minutes later, we get a knock on the door, um, doorbell goes off, the rain goes off and it's our neighbor like trying to get us up. You know, they're like urgently trying to get our attention. I'm gonna go in with the Patrick Star Visionary Palette. Um, I love this palette. It's the only palette in my whole entire life that I've actually like actually use every day and like the colors are, are usable. And then I'm going in with my setting brush from Real Techniques. It's the 402 brush. Real Technique Real Techniques has the best brushes on the market. Period. Poo. Like you can have this brush for years and it'll apply just amazing even though there's like hairs coming out, but um, anyways, our neighbors, I'm gonna go in with, <laughs> um, soft serve, brownie, just these three brown tones, just to really outline my eyelid. I'm actually gonna go in with suede charm, just as like a base on my eyelids. So, it's knocking on our door, trying to wake us up. We're awake and we're like taking our sweet time to get to the front door so confused on what's going on so someone gets to the door and the neighbor's like already leaving and at this point snickers is downstairs with the fam like trying to figure out what's going on i'm upstairs in this other room and i'm looking out the window and i see the neighbor's truck driving off and just bright lights and i'm like so confused Turns out someone came down the street and was doing a hit and run. <laughs> so the neighbor was not going to let them get away with their hit and run, which is amazing. I love you. And basically Snickers is telling me someone hit my truck and I was just like, just the sound of metal clashing. In the past, I've been in wrecks, not my fault, and it's traumatizing being in a car crash. So, I wasn't even in the car crash and I was already traumatized because I was in that vehicle like not even 10 minutes ago. Anyways, <laughs> the neighbor ends up driving off to chase the person who hit and run and everyone's like startled they're like oh do I go get my gun like what do I do you know so Snickers and his dad go to follow like the direction of the hit and run and I stay with mom and all the neighbors start coming out because they're trying to see what happened. So, <laughs> I'm gonna go in with a little bit more precision with this brush with that darker color. Put it on just the like socket like that, <laughs> which tells me exactly where my socket is. Yes. <laughs> and we're gonna end up winging that out with the Real Techniques brush because these brushes, I think I got them from Sephora's BH Cosmetics and they do not blend anything. They place the product, but they don't blend the product really. It's like blending with a paintbrush. A paintbrush probably would do a little better, sorry. I think I'm gonna go in with, I like their brushes, I just don't like how they blend, but I'm gonna go in with that brownie shade again and do it below my lash line. Just to add some smoke. Anyways, so we're outside and we're looking at the damage. And <laughs> this day was so stupid. So we're night. 
looking at the damage and it turns out they hit the neighbor's car and they hit our car like just the corner of it pushed it like six at minimum six feet maybe 10 feet away from where it was originally parked and then tried to drive off and the funny thing was like when it happened we heard the noise but we weren't like concerned about it and then we heard this loud like schooling noise as if like someone is like hitting their brakes the whole time that's what it sounded like and we were just like okay that's weird so when we come outside to see the damage uh the neighbor like the corner of their car is like hit a little bit so they end up having to take the whole back bumper off <laughs> even though it's just like a side collision and then we have damage in the back luckily it wasn't like too bad but I had to get a whole new like tail light and the tailgate was a little bit damaged still is so I'm gonna blend upward past my eyelid a little bit just to give it lift I'll probably add more product I'm gonna go in with a little heavier hand just to really blend the raccoon eyes and you can see the shadow it creates I'm not a booty guru but I know some stuff <coughs> oh it just choked on air my eyebrows are really like cousins so I'm probably gonna What am I gonna do? Do I just go like this? <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? I'm just gonna ignore it. So when I went brown, made them extra di I was about to say <laughs> something else. Extra thick and bushy, because you know, it doesn't matter <laughs> right now. Um I'm like, I should conceal them, but I'm just like, should I? I should, I'll try, but then I gotta go back with eyeshadow. So, ooh. I gotta concentrate, I'm sorry. <laughs> that beautiful lift I created is now gone. So I'll just go back and add it again. Ooh. Anyways, I like second telling stories. Um, so the driver was trying to skirt skirt away while his car was making a noise. Like it was really loud. It was echoing out of the neighborhood. Um, I was there in the cold looking at the damage like what the heck. And then you can see like a black, black tire skid mark like his path of when he crashed, when he hit us, pushed the truck 10 feet, and then almost hit our other car, like leaving. Um, so dumb. I'm already like paranoid of being in cars when they're moving. Unlocked a new fear. <laughs> I think I'm gonna add some shimmer, baby. Ooh, baby. So, why do I want to add black? Don't do that. I'm going to add this just to the center to ruin everything. Ooh, baby girl. Okay. Okay. Oh my God, it's getting everywhere. Okay. And then I'm gonna put some more shimmer of this pink. Just a little bit in the middle. And it's like rose gold. Not really, but you know what I mean. So, oh, it's so dry. I. Went in with the brown and tried to make it look better, but 
I don't know what happened, so this is just what we're gonna be stuck with. Because I'm staying inside, honey. So now I'm gonna add my concealer. I use this as foundation. It is Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, has super coverage. The best concealer match I've ever had in my life, honey. This is what I do. I put it on my forehead burns. Like a real, this is like the thickest layer. <laughs> Just all there. And then I'll do around the mouth, chin, and then whoop, like that. That's a lot. <laughs> Depending on what I'm doing, if I'm just like, if I want to do my full face, I put on a lot of concealer. If I don't, I just put on a little. Then I go in with the best beauty blender in the market, the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I'm going to go in with it dry, blend that out, and then keep talking. The girl needs chopstick. <laughs> Suck it telling stories and doing makeup. I thought this would be easier than what I thought it would, but no, baby, no, baby, baby, no, no, baby. So I'm shooken up, I'm shaking or whatever. And the next day we're, we wanted to see like the path of this dude's brain, like how he was driving. Um, so that's what we did, we went to go see the path. Till this day, the path is still there in the street, like the metal cutting the concrete. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this blush, Rare Beauty. I wanna get a different shade because I know this is way too like orange for me. But So it's the next morning and we're going to go see the damage that was done. And follow, the black tire marks and then it eventually turns into um just a scrape like cutting through the concrete and basically he was driving like one street like there's no turns or nothing but he was driving like this and then he ends up driving through someone's yard <laughs> i can't imagine like you sleep and you don't even know someone's driving in your yard right now. Um, but he's driving through someone's yard and surprisingly he does not hit, hit their mailbox, hit the tree straight in the middle of the yard. He just drives there. There aren't even tire marks or nothing, but he just drives through the yard and then drives back out. And I'm just like, dude, you need to go home. I guess that's what she's trying to do, but she just got an Uber. I will never, ever, ever, ever. I think I've done it, baby. Did I? I don't think, I don't know. I will never drink and drive, baby. No, no, no. No, no, no. So, oh, I gotta do my forehead. Good thing there's some more. Blending your um, stuff out with a beauty blender really gives you that airbrushed look. Looked? Look. So, And then you get a brush and just go over it. So yeah, he we he ended up going through someone's yard, not hitting their house, not hitting the tree, driving out of it. And then you can see the tire that he abandoned. <laughs> There's just a random tire in the road. And then um, I think there was like oil or something like where he abandoned his truck because they ended up towing it real quick. And then um you just the metal that was cutting you can see where it stops in the neighborhood and okay okay it's just a reminder like don't drink and drive um a lot of people in this neighborhood either like drink and drive and like hit mailboxes or drink and drive and hit cars there's one lady who took medicine and then drove who like she wasn't supposed to do that which is scary for everyone so moral of the story don't drink and drive you may get caught i know that people that do it and don't get caught i'm just like how 
how you do that? Why you do that? But it's none of my business. At the end of the day, you will suffer the consequences. So, now I'm traumatized of, I'm traumatized, yeah. Um, I was already like traumatized from driving, from people hitting you for no reason. Now I'm traumatized from just sitting in a parking lot or just sitting and getting hit by a car. Um, next time, if you are really messed up, just order an Uber or like call someone to help you. Call me, dude, like I can help you figure it out. Or just walk for a little bit, try and sober up. It's not fun for anyone, especially when you ruin property. Oh my gosh, and this is ready. Hold on. <laughs> Get in there, baby. I'm gonna go wash my hands. I lied. <laughs> I'm disgusting. So, this is the secret to a really thin nose. They highlight it in the middle down the bridge so it makes your nose look thinner and then I do like the end and then need a lot more than that baby okay okay see you see that <laughs> the side is so bad it's okay and then we're gonna highlight the bridge This is the, hold on, give me a second. I don't know what it is yet. I like to get my makeup travel size because you save money and you don't use your whole product. This is Aloy Mercier, um, Rose Gold Caviar Eye Stick. I kinda wanna put some on my lip. Like in the old days. Um, I don't really use highlight that much anymore. If I do, it's this Becca Opal, but Becca's going out of business and I didn't buy a new one. So I just have this one that's cracked that I had for years. And yes, it probably expired, but I'm gonna use this forever. So yeah, that was the story when a drunk driver swept through the neighborhood to say, what's up? I'm gonna add some beauty marks why am i breathing so much where my natural beauty marks already are oh my god my face is so sparkly this is why we don't do shimmer i have one there and i have one like on my nose somewhere but it's covered by makeup so <clears throat> let me guess it's right there got that got that got that i have a bunch on the side of my face but it doesn't matter I have like three under my eye right here, so I'm just gonna put one and three. And do that tiny one. There's one right there too. I'm gonna look like the connect the dots book. So I don't know what to say anymore. My story is over. You can leave the video or you can finish you can watch me finish doing my makeup. I just have the lips and lashes left. So, if you want to watch, go ahead. I bought these at Jenny's Beauty Supply. There's this 4D Mink Lash. Very, very nice. Can you see it? And then there's 3D other one. I usually don't get 3D Mink's lashes. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a thin strip girl because Oh, my face is still showing because baby i don't need all that weight on my face but for like instagram baddie type pictures you're gonna want to get a thick lash because it covers up everything so these are very they're both very cute i think i'm going to do the this one because it's like really long which i usually don't do and i usually throw them away because that's too long of an eyelash I'm gonna apply that, then I'm gonna do my lips. I'm like, do I add highlight? Cause I have a natural glow. Probably not. 
Yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> I do not have scissors. I have scissors. I usually have scissors with me on deck. But I don't. Oh, I have a toenail clipper. <laughs> It's getting spilled from my tweezers. Don't do this to me. Stay. My eyes are already watering. <gasps> We're gonna try again. Try again. Oh, it's still recording. Oh. Second eye. Second eye was a piece of the cake. No one ever says it like that. I just wanted to see your reaction. Blue is still drying, I feel weird. Okay, so I'm gonna curl that as well, but I got like random, random stuff on my face. So I'm gonna blush, brush that off. I kinda wanna add eyeliner, but these eyelashes are just so humongo that you don't really need eyeliner. So I'm gonna curl this eye and then do my lips. So now that I have like some sort of lift to my eyelashes, they look a lot better. I understand why people pay so much for mink eyelashes now. Cause these, uncomfortable. And I honestly don't wear lashes this like dramatic ever. Except for all the times that I did. But I'm gonna go in with that brown shade in my palette and just shade my eyes below and then the corner mm -hmm. and the corner just to establish that um liftage lift lift and then blend it in a little bit. It's kind of like eyeliner. Like I said, these brushes like suck at blending. So I'm gonna go with my real techniques right here, baby. And finish blending her out, baby. Good for placing product, horrible for blending. Oh my god, bitch. She's lifted. Now I'm gonna go in with my MAC. Fix Plus many because, like I said, I travel and I have to save money. It's way too much. Way too much. Way too much. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my Morphe matte uh, in the color Tint lipstick. Put it in the middle. Just like that. Oh yeah, mascara, baby. Blend my natural lashes. I'm also gonna add a. I'm gonna. Ugh, can't talk. I'm also gonna add a little bit to the bottom, so I can look extra emo. And then we're gonna go in with my extreme. Well, my favorite lip gloss is the Venti, but I really like this too because of the injection thing, but I think it's expired because it doesn't like burn as much. So I have two of these and they're both like, they both look like this, <laughs> like they're dying. So that's how I make my nude lip color. It's really important to keep the brown on the side to really get that lift and to not overline your bottom lip because in my opinion, I like a bigger top lip. And I really just glob a lot on the top lip. What is that? Oh, okay. Just so you know that I have lips because I don't know. Ouch, my lips. And then now I'm gonna attempt to do a hairstyle on myself and change my top so I can take pictures. Oh my God. Sometimes 
you record and you think that you recorded everything, but you didn't. Come on, focus on me, darling. Okay. <laughs> Well, that brings you to the end of my story time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of me on your timeline, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button so you know when I upload. Um, if you have any video requests, put them down below and I might do them. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And peace out. Get into... Okay, my hair is sticking up. But get into... The face too. <laughs> and the Photoshop. In real life. Kind of awkward. Bye. <laughs>